If you want to become a web developer in 2023, you know how daunting it is. You know how difficult it is to find the right resource, the right roadmap, the guidance, the community that will support you together. Because, you know, if you work a full-time job, you have a lot of things to deal with. Not just your main job, which is actually paying you the bills and whatnot, taking care of your family, but you also have to create this new brain that will allow you to learn the skill, okay and ultimately getting you that first developer job where you'll be making six figures you'll be working remotely and you'll have a shit ton of benefits you can work from anywhere literally and it's literally a skill that will allow you to grow as a person day in and day out so how do you go about this myself i'm a self to developer so i've pretty much learned code by myself and i've used all the free resources out there to teach myself and i also had a mentor at some point the problem is that Back in the day, in 2015, 16, when I started this journey, there were a shit ton of resources. Now, there are even more, there are even more methodologies. So how do you even start? How do you even start approaching this massive task that you have ahead of you? Well, the first thing that you need to do is to just start. So many people are overthinking this so much. They think that coding is this magical skill that nobody can learn, that is totally different than any other skill out there. But coding is more similar to piano than, you know, trying to become a doctor. If you want to learn how to play piano, you can read all the books, you can watch all the videos, you can take all the apps on your iPhone, iPad that will teach you what keys you have to pray, press, when to press them, etc., etc. But honestly, you're better off buying a small keyboard and then just starting to press the buttons. And this approach helped me a lot, not only when I started learning code, but when I started making music as well. If you don't know this, I am a Spotify artist. So if you search up my name, not this one that you see on YouTube, but if you search up my name on Spotify, you can find my old songs there. So I taught myself arts, painting, drawing, sculpting, music, coding, latte art and copywriting and speaking in front of the camera, I taught myself a lot of skills and these skills are hands-on skills, okay? When I first started learning music, I started making beats in day one, okay? I didn't waste any time. Yes, there were things that I didn't know. There were things that, you know, I could have been aware of before starting, but honestly, the best thing to do if you are a complete beginner and if you want to learn programming and if you want to start a new career is to just start. It sounds so simple, probably you weren't expecting this, but you have to just start. In fact, if you're a complete noob, you have no idea about coding, I have a free program for you. You can click in, fill in your application and start. Now, the second thing that you need to understand or the second concept that you need to understand is self-awareness. So self-awareness means knowing yourself, okay? In relation with other people that are around you, okay? So in terms of coding, it, it means that you know how good you are relative to how good you should be. So most of the time, you know, we say, I'm gonna do my best to create this new thing. I'm gonna do my best to create this website. I'm gonna do my best to create this application. And the reality is that your best is not good enough. You need to figure out what is good enough, what is the standard and your job every day is to go and match that standard, right? That's one of the most important mindsets that you can have as a beginner. Now, another thing that's gonna help you quite a lot is this concept, become 1% better every day. Yes, we have this standard that we are looking at, right? And this standard is kind of like, if we get there, then we are good enough to get hired, okay? Now, in order to get there, you need to get 1% better every day, so meaning, the question that you need to ask yourself every day is, am I better than yesterday? Yes or no? If the answer is no, you need to take a look at what you've done today and maybe you need to reassess your week, your month, your day. Maybe you need to give up a few things here and there. Maybe you need to eat more healthy. Maybe you need to work out a little bit more so you have more energy. Maybe you need to sleep a bit more to have more energy. Maybe you need to say no to different people in order to spend more quality time to become better than yesterday. Spending more time being dead in front of your computer without being able to focus, it's not the same as spending one hour of quality time 
where you are 100% focused, okay? Please be aware of that. Time in doesn't mean anything. Quality time means a lot. Now, the next thing that's very important, okay, if you want to make this transition into software development is to have a community around you. In my program, we have a community which is like very close. There are not thousands and thousands of people that you don't know about that have no name and just an avatar and some weird username with some anime character. But a community of people that know each other, they, they know their strengths, they, they, we have friendships formed inside the group, we have respect for each other, we know each other. So one of the things that will help you massively with becoming a developer is finding such a community, right? I know there are a bunch of people that have discords and whatnot, and there are, there are a lot of influencers who create this type of environment for you. That's a good place to start, but that environment is very low quality, okay? If you don't pay anything to get in, that means everyone will get in and everyone is gonna ask stupid questions like how to become a programmer. Like, bro, there are so many videos online that talk about this and there is always one guy that says, how can I become a programmer? How can I start game dev? They, they are polluting these environments, these social circles pretty much with dumb questions. And instead of you getting help from that community, instead of being um, happy to contribute to that community, you'll be like, oh no, I feel bad for even asking this. I feel like I'm dragging the community down if I'm gonna ask a question. Ideally, what you want is to find a small community, all right, a very small community where you know everyone. So one of the things that is very important for us humans, okay, I hope you're a human, I am a human, I'm not generated by AI yet, is to know the people around us. So our brain is made in such a way where we can only have like X amount of people, I think like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 people in our community. Anything more than that, it feels like we are surrounded by strangers. So ideally you'll be part of a small, tight community. Now, the next thing that you want is to get a mentor, not necessarily me, someone else, but a mentor is going to short circuit your entire progress. So if you are serious about programming, the worst thing that you can do is if you have a full time job, you're working a lot of hours, you are tired, you know, you have a family to take care of. Maybe the worst thing that you can do is to try to piece together all the free resources that are out there. Okay. That's the worst thing that you can do because you're going to spend so much time and you'll be so frustrated doing this that you'll forget why you are even doing this in the first place, which is to get better at this skill. So if you have a mentor that can look at your situation, that mentor can create a roadmap and can guide you through that roadmap so you can get to your goal in the fastest way possible, in an efficient way. That's what I pretty much do with all my clients. I show them the path and they just have to do the work. They don't have to guess what's the next thing. Am I good enough for this? No, none of that. I do that for them, okay? And it makes their life easier. You can also get a mentor. You can reach out to people on LinkedIn, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, they might not be as involved as me, which is pretty much every day if you need me. They might not hold you accountable like I am. They might not have a community of people like I am um, or like I have. They might not have a clear roadmap for you, but at least they'll give you that guidance, that bird's eye view that's going to help you to achieve your goals faster. At the end of the day, you know, you don't want to be spending years coding. Yeah, you have to enjoy the journey and you have to like the thing that you are learning. But why not do it in an efficient way and in a way where you can get paid faster and reap the benefits faster, right? You're only a developer once you get paid to be a developer, not when you are learning, right? So if your goal is to become a developer, get paid like a developer, work like a developer, have the benefits of a developer, be able to take the money that you are making, which is the vehicle, right? Coding is a vehicle that gives you the money, the opportunities. You take the money and invest into different things and then 10, 15 years, down the road, you can retire because you've done and you've made the right investments. Then you need a mentor, you need a roadmap, you need a community, and you need to, you need to have the right mindset towards this, as I explained to you in the beginning of this video. So if you need all those things, I can offer them to you, okay? You can apply for a free consultation call with me. This is for someone that is a complete noob, right? If you're a complete noob, and if you wanna fast track this, this link is in the description and the call is for you. If you have some experience with coding, 
but you feel like you're going nowhere because you are stuck in tutorial hell, you don't know what projects to build, etc. etc. This call is also for you. The link is in the description. Or if you finished a bootcamp and you feel like you are applying to thousands of jobs, but you stopped learning many, many months ago and you are making no progress and you are networking all day, okay, but you are getting no results, this call is also for you because you might not have the skills. So you cannot network your way into a job if you have bad skills. All right, so the call is for you, it's free. Let's see if what I have is for you. If it is, you can work with me. If not, no problem. I'm gonna tell you what to do for your own specific situation. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.